When we use Excel to generate an exponential trend line, we get one in this format, y equals 15.256e to the 0.303x, which has the e in it, which is difficult to work with. So the first thing we need to do is to convert that into our Q form. And to do that, we need to take a look at the e to the numeric part of the exponent. And if we work that out in our calculator, that will be equivalent to the 1 plus r in the Q form of the model. On many calculators, including the TIs, you enter this in as e to the 0 0.303. On others, including my iPod Touch, you enter the exponent first, 0 0.303, and then hit the e to the x button. Now that we know from our calculator that e to the 0 0.303 is 1.35, we can rewrite the model in Q form. Q instead of Y. Our starting value is 15.256. And then we have that times 1.35 to the T. This is the form that we want to enter it into Excel to make our predictions. To do this in Excel, you'd type equals 15.25 times 1.35 caret, and then a cell reference to the cell where your independent variable's value is. And then you can press enter and drag that across to make all of the predictions for the population.